Hello and welcome to another release of Blue Bread Broadcast. I'm your host, creator and producer of the show, Milena Karpuchina. I'm so glad to be sharing today's release with you, a hopeful and melancholy love story titled Monga, written by Roma Muro. You'll be hearing the voices of Jane Worth as Francesca, Roma Muro as Cal, Alice Corti as Aida, and Anania Amoroso as Luca. Don't forget to follow Bluebird Theatre Company online and sign up to our mailing list for updates on our audio and visual performances. Thanks so much for listening and enjoy the show. Oh my god, the sun's barely up. Remind me why we're doing this? I read online it's best to come early on the mountain walk, especially this time of year. It's so cold. I can still feel the warm bed calling me back, Cal. Not only are there less tourists, but the Dormite is said to mm, illuminate a dazzling landscape of stark contrasts. Wish it would illuminate a vending machine, because I'm getting hungry. Oh, was it a stark landscape of contrasting dazzle? Hmm. I still think you should have borrowed those boots, Frankie. Merle's boots? Hell no, they smell like dead cat. You're gonna get a rock in those open toe sandals. They're not sandals, and I happen to be very deft in these. Oh, look! Please be a Starbucks, because I could seriously use something hot and caffeinated. Preferably in a grande size. Simon brioche, lightly toasted. Oh, it's a tree. Cool. The Pseudowintera colorata? That's the Latin name for the Horopito tree. You know the leaves are edible? Yeah, have a taste. Um, no. Are you sure? Quite. Wise. Actually, they're super hot. The other name for it is the pepper tree. My brother fed me some when we were kids. Oh, I'm still terrible with spicy food. <coughs> totally burned my mouth. Well, thanks for that. <coughs> also, unzip my backpack. Oh my, so forward. That thermos is for you. What is it? Oh, coffee. Just a little something I prepared earlier. Hmm, <sighs> so good. Oh yeah, Cal, I love you. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let's keep going. You don't like saying it, do you? Saying what? You know, love. You don't like saying I love you. Th that's not true. Oh, come on, Cal. What about the other night at dinner? Or when we shared that Snickers bar I stole from the gas station? It, to be fair, I didn't know that was stolen. Always tastes better stolen. Or when you kissed me after that stupid fight about the harmonica. All those times I said it, but you... It's not because I didn't. But don't, I mean. Don't what? You know. You really won't say it, huh? Ugh. How do I always end up with the repressed ones? Cal, when you don't say it back, it kind of feels like I'm all in and you're lukewarm. That's not... I'm... I just... I'm not lukewarm. It's just not easy, that's all. I didn't grow up saying it to people. As in, never. Like, you say it all the time to your parents, to your friends, just about anyone. If I say it, it's because I do. Well, for me, uh, I, I don't know, it, it costs me something. Wow. What? It does. Sometimes you're dumber than a box of hair. Just because I say it more often doesn't make it any less meaningful. What, do you think you're the only one that feels vulnerable saying I love you? Okay, good. Well, then I'm glad we can agree. No, we don't agree because you're still too chicken shit to say it. Well, I feel it. Well, then you should say it. No time like the present. You know what it is as well? It's you, Frankie. Oh, boy, so it's my fault. You don't get it. I just... Okay, so, you're incredible and unbelievably beautiful and... Smart and funny. Like, these are objective facts. Ask anyone. Me included. 
I miss you when you're gone. I like myself more when I'm with you. You're the coolest person I've ever met. What should I smack us with? Okay. And I want to say it all the time because I feel it all the time. But I, I know part of me is just waiting for you to grow bored or realize I'm just a fraud who isn't cool or attractive or remotely in your league. I mean, I'm wearing this bucket hat because I'm terrified my hair is receding. And I know you'll move on easily because that's how things go for you, but I'll be stuck thinking about you for a long, long time. I, I think I avoid saying it, so it won't hurt as much when you leave me. Ow. I'm sorry, it's just... No, rock in my shoe. Hold up. Little fucker somehow sliced between my toes. <sighs> Here, just have a band-aid. No, I'm fine. Just leave it. E che se fai un uso eccessivo della frase? Hai mai sentito di qualcuno stanco di sentirsi dire ti amo? Ascolta, lo sai che ti amo anche io, ma quando lo usi in ogni frase? Oh, guarda degli americani. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I love your shoes. Oh, thank you. Hey, sorry to bother you, but would you mind taking a picture of the two of us? We forgot the selfie stick. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Actually, Frankie's better at this than me. Thank you, you're very kind. Okay, and nice big smiles. Three, two, one. I take a bunch, so you have some options. Thank you so much. Enjoy your walk. It's really pretty at the top. You're nearly there. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Pensi che stessero litigando? Ma certo che sì, glielo si leggeva in faccia, amore mio. Ecco che ricominci. Ma perché non vuoi lasciarti dire che ti amo? Ma perché se lo dici in ogni frase perde l'importanza? Ma non lo dico in ogni frase. Sì, invece. Non è vero. Sì. Solo quando lo sento. Ok. È il mio cuore che va te bene, lo dice. Va bene, va bene. Uffa. They seem nice. Ok. Let me tell you something. I'm not a fortune teller. Like, I can't promise what our futures will look like. Maybe we'll stay together, maybe we won't. Still pretty early in this thing. Hmm. Honestly, you're a strange, insecure bag of nerves sometimes. And I do find your optimism first thing in the morning completely baffling. But mostly, you're a nerd who I have fun with and happen to think is pretty cute. Especially in a bucket hat. <laughs> Look, I get scared. Of course I do. I'm not some idealized woman or this shallow person that's going to up and leave because you start losing your hair. I'm a real person. But I do know that a surefire way to lose someone is to go about losing them. That's a choice. We made it to the top. 5.30 in the morning. Goddamn. And of course, it's beautiful. Yeah. Everything's so fresh. Look, those mountains over there have snowy hats. Yeah. It's so huge. Almost overwhelming. If only I had the right phrase to describe this. Oh, a dazzling landscape of stark contrasts? Sounds about right. I wonder how many pairs of feet the mountains felt stop right here. How old is time? Makes you feel so small. <laughs> like kids. Cal? I love you. I know. <laughs>